But if you just step back and think about it, if you work for an organization that looks after you and you feel looked after, you'll pay a bit, little bit more attention. You'll go that extra mile to do a really good job. And that's what good health and safety and particularly psychological health and safety give. So you get an improvement in in quality or service delivery you get an improvement in staff engagement people like to be there they want to be there they want to help their organization grow and prosper people will stay <laughs> in your organization um, i mean if they're unhappy and they're not being looked after they'll leave so you know you're 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 keeping the best talent which is a huge issue at the moment you know there's it's all over the news in in terms of the the, the vacancies that organizations are facing and, and and recruiting that talent and of course the positive side is if you're seen as a good organization that looks after your people then you'll get that talent which is you know a real issue um it, it helps with complying with the law a standard isn't uh, a direct link to con con um, complying with the law but because it it helps you establish your processes for doing that it helps where you you need to comply with the law um, and you know there you, then you see and, and this was really interesting you know I think psychological health and safety you know in terms of an issue for businesses has is, is been around for a number of years now but with the last 18 months of the COVID-19 pandemic I think that that has raised even further up, up the agenda and one of the things that BSI does every year is we carry out a survey to look at organizational resilience so you know there, there's a structure unsurprisingly there's a standard on it <laughs> Um, but there's a structure about what an organization needs to do to be resilient for the long term. So not be able to survive disruption like this, but also thrive for the long term. And we did the survey last year, obviously, in the, in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic. And, and the, the biggest result that came through from that survey was those organizations that had prioritized their their people had focused on helping and supporting their people during a really challenging time were the most resilient so they were not only able to weather the storm of the COVID-19 pandemic but and obviously this varies around the world but for those organizations that are starting to, to come out of the other end into if you like calmer waters they are in a much more robust place and, and doing in simple terms, much more successfully than other organizations. And I think this is often overlooked at, you know, looking after your people is good for your business. It's simple, really.